3.41 a.m. It is 3.41 a.m. Don't ask me what I'm doing up. I probably just left your nigga house. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to like that answer. So, we'll just move past that. Um, but, I want to do a tea video, girl. Because there's so much going on. And these topics are packing up on me, bitch. Oh, my goodness. They're packing up on me. So, I said, child, let me get this done. I've been running around doing so much other things. And just getting things done, child. I said, child, it's been almost two weeks. Almost Two weeks, I think. It's been about, about 13, 14, maybe days. But it's been a while since I've done a TV video, and there's so much to talk about. So without further ado, girl, if you've never seen my face before, my name is Shaylin. I sit here and I do pop culture things throughout the week. We're gonna roll the intro so I can get into all this shit, girl. So I want to start off this video with a little good news, okay, a little good news. Cardi B has officially announced that she's one, pregnant, and two, divorced. Now, the divorce announcement has been, it's kind of questionable. Now, I say she's announcing a divorce because of her recent Instagram post, which I'm going to pull it up and read it to you guys. She recently posted a picture of her and this belly of her, child. Okay, it's her and this belly. She announcing that she's pregnant. When was this? This was August 1st. Oh my goodness, not 13 days ago. Oh, anyways, I'm here. She posted this and she says, with every end then comes a new beginning. I didn't have to read shit else from there. And what her said, with every end, it comes with a new beginning. With that phrase right there, she told me everything I needed to know. Every single thing I needed to know. So, her being pregnant is so unacceptable right now, but it's not It's not much we can do. She um, goes forward with this long old paragraph that I will not read, baby. I'll just throw it up on the screen, baby. But it's this long old paragraph just announcing her love and her connection with the baby. Congratulations on the pregnancy. But I just feel like, damn. All right. Now, with the divorce situation, there has been paperwork filed out of, I think, either Atlanta or New York. I can't remember which one. It might be Los Angeles. One of the three cities, Cardi B did go forward and filed a divorce paperwork. I'm so happy to hear that Cardi B is free. I'm so happy Cardi I'm so happy Cardi is free. Like, I'm so ecstatic. I wish it would have happened a little sooner, a little earlier, but there's no turning back now. I want her to go forward with the divorce, baby, and not back out of it like she did back in 2020. Because back in 2020, she did the exact same thing. She went down to the damn courtroom, filed the paperwork, and then withdrew from the paperwork. Uh-uh, baby, we need you to stand on business. Or you can roll on business, because Tokyo Tony said these bitches deserve no standing ovation, and she kind of ate with that. Stand on business? Bitch, I sit on business. I'm not standing up for no hoes. No ovations do you get from me, bitch. I sit on business, bitch. You stand on that shit. So maybe you can go roll on business, but some type of business has to, the business has to be applied down. Like it ha it has to be stuck down to the floor. Like it, it, you gotta put it on the floor. <laughs> you gotta put it on the floor. Now with her rolling on business, it might get crazy. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Okay, with her rolling on business, it might get crazy because I feel like Offset girl. I not to say he broke because like I said, he in Japan tonight. Okay, but. I don't feel like he has as much money as Cardi B, even though Cardi B hasn't been, you know, out and popping and making as much money in current day as she used to make. The bitch still got money, okay? And she's invested her money into multiple properties. She, I think she has Airbnb. She has a lot of stuff going on. And it's not like she's bought all of her family members' houses. She put them motherfuckers in one house. And she said, y'all coming with me. So, <laughs> so Cardi B, she got, she, got a, she got a little bang for her buck. Now, I feel like she might have to fight for that buck. Uh, uh, hopefully not. Hopefully Offset be, be a man. Okay, cause she's just a girl. Okay, she's just a girl. Hopefully Offset B's a man and you know, he does this equally or fairly and not tries to take her for everything that she got. But I can see this getting sour. I can see this playing out like Tiana Taylor's divorce or either Jeannie Mai and Jeezy's um, divorce. I can see it getting sour where people are talking about things are unsafe and this is unfit and this is not a girl. But hopefully it does not lead to that. Hopefully they're able to separate the custody, however they're gonna work that out. But we're gonna move on. Um, Next topic. Child, where am I gonna go? I guess we're gonna go to Jasmine Cheesy, whatever her name is. Jada Wade's sister, I think so. Jada Wade's sister is currently going viral because that's what the fuck I'm gonna talk about. That's how she's gonna be referred to because you ain't nobody but Jada Wade's sister. And I know people gonna be like, oh, she got this going on. I don't give a fuck what she got going on. Right now, all I see going on is her being Jada Wade's sister and her being ignorant as fuck. There's this video going around of her screaming at her three second year old baby and the baby hollering. We don't know the baby hollering for a little fresh air, a milk, a nipple, got a shit, got a piss. I don't know what the baby hollering for, but the baby is about three seconds old. Okay, and it just hollering and she screams back at the baby and she says what I tell you about that You ain't no girl. You don't do all that hollering Well, what the fuck else? 
how's he supposed to do? What the? It's not like he can, you know, open up a dictionary, pull a couple words out of there, and put a sentence together in this bitch. Blaze, I told you you're not a girl. Stop the screaming. No, I don't like him to do that screaming shit. He's not a girl. What else does this three second year old baby, three second year old is crazy. What type of communication skills does this baby have to offer? Maybe, maybe you know something I don't cause I don't have a child. Maybe baby started talking at, you know, three, four weeks. And I maybe, you know, maybe I was a little slow because I, I don't think I started talking until like, I don't know child, maybe one. And I wasn't saying much, but I had a couple, you know, a couple of little words ducked off of the vocabulary. But what can a three month year old say? Three month year old is crazy. What can a three month baby Say, how is this three month baby supposed to communicate? No reason that you should have been on that live screaming at your child, talking about some screaming is for girls and this is for girls. And this baby is three months old. Bitch, you are hilarious. Now, as much as Jada Way, the sister, is dumb as fuck, y'all are dumb as fuck also. Cause y'all are a reason, not the main reason, but y'all are also some of the reasons that these people are homophobic to three year olds, three month year olds, three seconds year olds, 30 year olds. Y'all are the reason that people are homophobic. Look at how y'all are treating Jada Wayne's son. Jada Wayne's son go viral every fucking month with somebody talking about so he's too sweet. He need to be around the boys. Little baby need to come get his son and this, that, and that. Look at how y'all treat Jada Wayne's son. So we got Jada Wayne's dumb ass sister saying, hey, don't scream. These motherfuckers might call you gay. Shut up. And this baby is three months. People as a society, people as a whole, gotta get it together. Dead ass. The sexualizing kids and what they're gonna do with their sexuality and what they're gonna be when they get older. They're gonna be gay, lesbian, trans, this, that, 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 whatever they decide to do. It should not be your business. Definitely if you ain't the parent. And even if it's your, even if you the parent, I, I hate, I hate to break it to you. It ain't your business either. But if you're not the parent, oh bitch, it's really not your business. It's not your business what a child is gonna grow up and be doing sexually. You're 40, you're 30, you're 20 something. These kids are eight, six, five, three months. <laughs> Why are you worried about what a child that is a child that has so much growing and so much life to live before they get to the stage of doing anything with anybody sexually. Why are you worried about that? Why is that so significant? Can that motherfucker count? You try to figure out what it's gonna be, you know, messing around with. Can that motherfucker count? Can it read? Can it say other, anything other than mama? Oh, okay. Leave these kids alone. Leave these kids alone. Leave people alone in general. But if you don't want to leave people alone, take motherfucking kids off the list. Dead ass. It's trifling and it's dirty and it's nasty as fuck. I get so heated. I don't get angry about anything outside of people getting murdered and it being recorded and thrown on Twitter like it's a fucking Tubi movie and people going on Twitter to talk about kids. That, those two things, bitch, get me motherfucking heated. Get me angry. Leave these kids alone. Stop throwing off what you are or what your uncle is or what you hate off on a child that is just trying to watch Caillou. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get that. Move on, child, cause I be here all motherfucking night. Girl, I guess it's time for me to go to the arrested segment. I, so many bitches been arrested. I need to go down to the precinct and look around. I need to motherfucking get an autograph in every goddamn cell. <laughs> goddamn everybody with the motherfucking jail, bitch. Okay, the first nigga on the list, Nelly. Okay, Nelly then went to jail. His ass has been caught wandering the streets, high off something, and also in the possession of ecstasy, girl. Now look here, Nelly, you a papa? You a papa? <laughs> you a papa, you a papa, you a daddy. No more ecstasy, baby. <laughs> baby, Nelly didn't got arrested. I can't even remember where he got arrested, but he didn't got arrested, girl. Like I said, he was in the possession of a couple other drugs, but I know ecstasy was one of them. He looked stoned off his rockers in the thumbnail. Well, not thumb. Oh, thumbnail is crazy. Ooh, I'm telling my own team. Girl, he looked stoned off the rockers in the mugshot. Unacceptable! He look like he's still sobering up. He don't even know where the fuck he at. He's skinny fucker. He think he taking pictures with fans. Bitch. He fucked up. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. He fucked up! I know that's right now. No, I don't know it ain't right. Bitch, bitch, I'm just kidding. Uh, girl, get it together. The next motherfucker that was arrested, girl, Blueface and Krishan. Let's talk about them as a whole. Like I said, I've done a great job this year not talking about the motherfuckers, baby, but I am the bad news bearer. And I told y'all I'm going to be updating y'all with every single step of, well, every single information I find about Krishan in this damn case. I'm hearing that Krishan's about to get eight years in jail. 
I'm here she's about to get eight years in jail because she has the charges stacked upon her. Down from the James Wright situation, down from another assault situation. She has possessions in, um, dis what is it, D distributions of controlled substances. She also has possession of a, what is a CDS without tax stamp? I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's above my, um, you know, my pay grade. But girl, she going to jail, bitch. She's going to be in there for a minute. Her charges are stacked on her ass, okay? Sad as fuck. Sad as fuck. I remember when she first got pregnant and it came out that this wasn't her first pregnancy and she had ended a lot of the pregnancies before with Blueface because it was just a shitty relationship. When I heard that, I was thinking, okay, maybe she'll end this one. And I not, wasn't being mean about it. I wasn't being, you know, evil, vicious, a woman hater, whatever term people like to throw on it. I wasn't being any of those. I just was honestly like, uh, girl, I don't know about, you know, having this baby. You already on TV busting this nigga in the head with a bottle. We, we, you know, we, you know, we got a bag out of the baby. <laughs> we got a bag out of the baby, bitch. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't know about that, bitch. So, you know, I was advocating for abortion, you know, a legal one or a legal one. Electric chair. So, I was advocating for abortion, but she did not get an abortion. She carried that baby for nine months, and just for her to carry the baby longer than she actually been around the baby is motherfucking crazy. It blows my goddamn mind. It blows my motherfucking mind. There's no reason that you as a mother should have been running around and not handling business. She had no common sense. She had nobody in her ear, whether it was friends, whether it was a financial advice. Nobody to tell her, like, hey, girl, I think you should, you know, hire a lawyer and send them over to kind of figure out some shit for your your crimes you got going on right now. You got on live and you said, you know, I got some shit I'm handling, but you know, I'm not turning myself in. They're gonna have to catch me when they catch me. And they caught you going to Blueface's courtroom to support his dumb ass that we about to get into in a second. To support Blueface's dumb ass and they caught your dumb ass. Two dumb asses in one room. Should have changed you motherfuckers together. Krishan, allegedly, might be sitting in jail for eight more motherfucking years. Well, not eight more years, girl. Krishan might be sitting in jail for eight fucking years. Moving on to Blueface. Blueface had a court date the other day where they did the sentencing on him and his illegal activities. In the sentencing, they were expecting him to get maybe a year, nine months. He did not get a year. He did not get nine months. That motherfucker got four goddamn years. Good afternoon, y'all. Y'all can probably tell the results by the way I look. He won't even see the first black woman president. <laughs> uh, shout out to Miss Harris. Maybe Miss Harris catch a second term. Blueface might get it out in time to see that shit. But he won't even be able to experience the next great four years we're about to have as an American society. Ain't that motherfucking pathetic? Ain't that sad? Tragic. Behooves me. <laughs> shout out to my mama. <laughs> it behooves me. It behooves me. This is crazy. Both parents in jail. Then we got Smiley talking about some. She got Krishan Jr. Smiley, how do you got Krishan Jr.? What does Smiley do with how, girl? I can't even put my sentence together, bitch. What the fuck is Smiley doing with the baby? You probably confused. I'm confused too, bitch. Yes. Junior is not in CPS. Trust me, and he is very well. I promise you that. And I'm not putting him on the camera. I'm tired of everybody being negative around him. Everybody who think he's in CPS. He's not. Damn, he's with me and Jay and Marsh. What the fuck is Junior doing with you? This is chaos. Rashawn in jail, Blueface in jail, and Smiley got the baby. Who the fuck is writing this, Tyler Perry? Lee Daniels? 50 Cent? This shit right here? Who the fuck? Mixing this shit around. This, this is this is unacceptable, child. It's just, this is, this is a hot-ass mess. This is dead-ass, a hot-ass motherfucking mess. But the next person that's arrested, because like I said, girl, everybody went there. I need to go, like I said, I need to go down there and do some motherfucking, get some autographs. Travis Scott arrested as well, baby. He arrested because he went and attacked one of the paparazzi out in Paris, I believe. But she the type of bitch to call the police. She the type of bitch to have me in a pit for a week. She the type of bitch to lie to her mama, her daddy, anybody she can. Her papa and nanny and bitch. Next motherfucker that was arrested, Guy Jackson. Hey, just say, hey, just... Guy Jackson was arrested for a domestic violence situation. Now, this just hit the internet three minutes ago. Three motherfucking minutes ago. And I said, that literally made me get out. It's like, you know what? Glasses on. Because <laughs> I was about to crawl, I was about to crawl in bed. I was, I mean, I was about to crawl in bed. I said, you know what? Glasses on, bitch. I, 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 gotta, I gotta get this video out. I gotta get this video out. Kai Jackson was recently arrested for a domestic violence situation, and she was caught attacking her boyfriend, and of course, you know, it's Kai Jackson, so she got the fuck out. Now, when she gets out, she did make an official statement and say everything is just fine with her, <laughs> her and her fiance. This is her fucking fiance. Here's me. Here's me gagging. This look ugly, motherfucking Eddie and Eddie. Chucky looking nigga from Rascals is her motherfucking fiance. He look a fucking mess. But she gets out and she says, you know, everything is just fine with me and my fiance, and we are expecting a baby soon. Shut your mouth. 
God, Jackson is expecting a, a what soon? Are you expecting any jobs soon too? <laughs> you got that? Like, bitch, what the? You know, I don't want to back and watch. But what have you? What have you done lately? What have you been in late, lately? Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, chair. Yeah. What the fuck is the money coming from? Maybe she's coming from me clicking through her Snapchat story. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should find my motherfucking business. But girl, Scott Jackson's pregnant, and she is up telling people that everything is just fine with her and her fiance, and they are expecting a baby soon. I don't think everything is just fine with you and your fiance if you are the one being arrested for putting your hands on somebody, and you got a baby in that motherfucking womb of yours. Let this nigga with a clap, clap back and hit your ass. It'll have been all in row. I live for Scott Jackson, but let me tell you something. Scott Jackson, she's a very interesting guy. And anytime things come out about her, people like rally up behind her as if she's America's sweetheart. This is this bitch is not Shirley Temple. This bitch is Scott Jackson. Baby, this is Kiki Palmer. This is motherfucking Kiki Palmer. She ain't America's sweetheart. This bitch can do some wrong. She was sleeping around with um that underage boy. What's his name? Uh, Solange's son. Girl, shit. I'm, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, Julius. God damn it. She was sleeping around with Julius, and I think she was about. Uh, maybe 19, 20, and he was about maybe like 16, and then he broke up with her baby, and she was talking about him like a doll. He put her titties on the other end. I said, well, God damn, God damn, God, 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 God damn. So sometimes, you know, she be, you, she, she play dirty, bitch, but girl, this hoe is pregnant, and she's arrested. I just said everybody down there at the precinct, I gotta go down there and pull my camera out. This shit is crazy. Who else was arrested? Is that it? Um, Kai Sinet was arrested, too. Kaisenet was arrested for lying to the people. Why the fuck would Kaisenet go to <laughs> go on his Twitch and say that the Secret Service has been hitting him up? How secret is the service if they hit you up? Then on top of that, I got the Secret Service calling me five times, nigga. I don't know goddamn shit about politics, my nigga. I don't know. Why the fuck would you lie about that? Because we know these motherfuckers ain't hit you up. Why, why the fuck would you? I just feel like I, I, lying to one person is scary enough for me. I'm going to be honest. I can't lie, I bitch. Lying to one motherfucker is scary enough. But lying to hundreds of thousands of eyes. Now that's some scary shit. Like that, now bitch, now because the one thing about it, two things for sure, bitch. I feel like if I tell a lot of three bitches, one of them bitches going to figure out. Let alone 300,000. <laughs> God damn it. 300,000? Can I sit there online talking about the Secret Service hitting my phone, man? I don't even know nothing about politics. Do you know how dumb you sound in front of all these motherfucking people? One, you sound dumb because how don't you know anything about politics? So what are you going to be doing in November? Two, you sound dumb because Secret Service job is to be, you know, secret. And, you know, handle things, you know, behind the scenes and make sure bitches don't get crazy when the president's commuting from building to build it. The Secret Service is not to, you know, reach out and book something with Castanet. What are you talking about? Now, Kai did come forward and say he was lying. I, if I find a video or the clip, I will put it in. But for you to even be lying like that, it's, it's absolutely crazy. And if you were joking, you could have cleared it up the same night. You you didn't have to wait till everybody caught you in your jokey joke. <laughs> you, couldn't, you didn't have to wait till everybody caught you in your jokey joke to say it was a jokey joke. You were lying. I hate people like that. No, it wasn't a joke. You lying, you got caught. No backtrack. Whew, child. What is the next topic? Sierra. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hop on her real quick. Sierra is rumored to be playing the next Super Bowl. I hope the fuck not. Um, Sierra can't even entertain me for two minutes, let alone 14 and a half. I really feel like Sierra time was there. It's came and passed. I do not feel like she has nothing to offer in current society. Her moves and grooves are not it. I'm not really interested in seeing Sierra playing the Super Bowl. But if it comes out that Sierra's playing the Super Bowl, remember that my black ass sold you first. Now, this next topic that I want to end the video with, child, the hot ass mess. Carisha and JT. They a hot ass mess. <laughs> they a hot ass mess. I mean it, bitch. They a hot ass mess. Both of them. So Carisha recently did her comeback interview with Carisha Please at Revoke Child. And this interview has been circling around on this internet for the last couple of like days. I think like two or three days. And everybody's like goofing and gagging. There's a couple bullet points that I jotted down while I was watching the interview. It was only like 30 minutes. When I seen that it was only 30 minutes, I knew she wasn't going to be touching on shit. That bitch was in and out. And I was like, this is about to be a key. Now the first thing that Young Miami said was JT was working on music 
behind the scenes and by herself and didn't really let her know. And a lot of people are saying, you know, hey, JT didn't have to let her know. Do, 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 do. Yes, the fuck she did. It's multiple reasons why JT should have been letting Young Miami know that she was, you know, working on her own music. One, they're business partners, dead ass. Like they work together, they're group mates. Salt, pepper, yin yang. So if you're doing anything that we started together, solo dolo individually now, I feel like I need a PSA. Definitely if we're still in the group. It's not like the group is broken up. It's been 20 years since they've done a reunion. These bitches are still going out and booking out rolling loud festivals and doing all the little shit that they can do, girl, because they said they wasn't getting booked too much. But they getting booked still a little bit. So yeah, there's some there's something I need to know. Okay, bitch. Second thing that Young Miami said um about JT and her relationship is when Nicki Minaj gave JT the Super Freaky Girl remix. And Miami said that she did not know that JT was on the Super Freaky Girl remix. She said that she remember when Nicki posted the little snippet or the little teaser where saying like all the girls were from, one from New York, one from Miami, one from this person, one from one from this place, one from that place. When she, when young Miami seen that it was a girl from Miami, she was looking at it and she said, you know, Maybe that's Trina. <laughs> you remember that? Maybe that's Trina. You know, fast forward to it being revealed that, you know, it wasn't Trina. It was JT on that remix. And Young Miami didn't get a heads up from nobody. And when I say that's very, very strange and weird, I just, I'm going to be completely honest. Because if we're supposed to be business partners and then also friends, why don't I know about this? Why am I the last person to know? It got to come on the internet. For me to know. And then once it gets to the internet, people are arguing about it and they want me to come and save you. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. And I don't really like Young Miami. But she was making a lot of sense in this interview. Young Miami even went forward to speak about things not working or clicking anymore as a group when they had to work together, when they would get into the studio to record music. It really wouldn't hit. They really wouldn't be able to work well with each other there. Also, when they were on tour and they worked together on stage, they really ride in separate cars. They have separate teams. I understand being at, you know, such a grown age, you're not going to involve yourself with someone in every shape and fashion, whether it's a team member, whether it's a group mate, whether it's your best friend, whether it's your man or your bitch, you're not gonna involve them in every single thing. But if you're working together with someone and this is a friend, this is a man, this is a team member, this is a group mate, you're gonna come together sometimes to get things done. And JT and Carisha wasn't coming together to get shit done. They weren't coming together to get the shows done. They weren't coming together to get the motherfucking music recorded. They wasn't coming together in any shape or form. So, you know, Miami said, hey, baby, I gotta figure some things out. So she ended up selling them Carisha Please cards and then she ends up getting the show on Revolt. That's how all of those things came into place with Carisha. But JT, girl, JT was sitting her ass at home. She was sitting her ass at home. And this is way before JT had started recording solo dolo music because I feel like a lot of people forget that JT got on her platform multiple times and even got on Carisha's platform and said, you know, I'm doing fine. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't need to work. Uh, uh, I don't have to do anything. I, you know, my man got me and I got money with who's for it. Girl, the money dried up. I guess the money is gone. I don't know if her man still got her. I don't know what's going on with JT, but JT had to come her ass out and work. And when JT came her ass out and work, she kind of hid behind the scenes and was working quietly. Definitely from Young Miami because she's always kind of thrown up like, I ain't got no kid. I ain't got to go as hard. But now you about to have to go as hard. So she tried to go as hard in secrecy. She tried to get up and start working privately. And of course, these are public things that have to be released, songs and shit like that. So it ends up coming out eventually, but I feel like there should have been a conversation that JT should have had with Carisha and said, you know, hey, I'm about to start working on my solo dolo music. It ain't really hidden for us. We separate, we going on different ways. There should have been a conversation. Definitely with how JT's got her ass on the interviews after interview after interview after interview after interview and said, you know, hey, I don't ever want to split from my girl. This is my girl, this is da da da. I don't want to do this shit if I don't have Carisha with me. For you to stand and say that in so many interviews, for you to sit there and say, I, this is my girl, I gotta do, 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 do. But then fast forward to the moment where you do start doing solo dolo music. You don't go let your girl know, your pal, your sister, your bitch. You don't let her know. I thought that was your girl. <laughs> I stand with 
Carisha. She was eating that bitch up, okay? And I live for JT. Y'all can go watch the JT album reaction. I was shaking ass. Okay, bitch, I was getting ready to, for this video tonight, listen to Dance on the Dick. I live for JT. But right is right and wrong is wrong. He also had Carisha speak on the Diddy situation. Now, that was a very in and out situation. You can tell that her ass has an NDA, okay? You can tell that she has an NDA on Diddy or Diddy has an NDA on her and not much can be said because it was very in and out. Carisha sat there and said, I, you know, I, you know, I'm sorry for all of Diddy's past victims, but I wasn't one of his victims. And a lot of people have took that clip and went to social media and are dragging her for not being one of his victims. Now, I don't know if he, you know, whooped her ass, put her through the hell or not. Hopefully he didn't. And if he did not, and this is what she said publicly, accept it for what it is. I don't know why people are getting on social media and just want her so badly to be beat want her so badly to be beat up, want her so badly to be sexually violated, want her so badly to be put through the dirt. Damn. If she says she ain't get pissed on, she ain't been shitted on, and nobody black her eye, then it ain't her story, it ain't her story. How about you go beat her up there, bitch? <laughs> How about you go piss all that shit on her there, bitch? Like, what the fuck? I just, I, you know, I, I, girl, child, I look here. The internet has been a mess for the last couple of days. These bitches are a belligerent fool. They are fucking mess. Hopefully, Carisha is able to spin around and do another interview at a later date and give us the real tea and detail in every situation that she has going on because I feel like this little 30 minutes that she served us the other day, it really wasn't of much value. I feel like she didn't go as deep into the topics that she needed to go into. And I also feel like the interviewer was unserious. And you know, and there's nothing against Saucy Santana. And I don't feel like him being gay made the interview unserious. I feel like him being her best friend is what made the interview unserious. It's like, um, this is shit y'all talk about all the time. This is shit that she call you crying about. Bitch, pick, pick another interviewer. Like, pick a, pick another interviewer. I, I just, child, Sasha Santana was not it. Nothing against him. It was just, he wasn't the person to be asking Carisha these questions. If we, if we wanted her answers to be a smidge of taken seriously, Santana should have been the nigga behind the questions, child. But this is my tea video. I have been here chatting it up. I'm pretty sure all of this won't make it to the video. It'd probably still be short for y'all because y'all know I don't, I don't want y'all sitting here forever. So whatever makes it, makes it. But I love y'all so much. Make sure you guys stay blessed and be safe. And what time is it, child? 23. Free me. I bet you're talking 45 minutes. I love y'all. Adios, amigos. Mwah.